Meta, I love your dinosaur costume. Oh, hi. My name is B, like the letter B. This is Mr. Butterfly. And this is Meta, the brown bear. Today, we are learning about dinosaurs. Today, Meta wanted to share his love for dinosaurs with all of you. This is one of his favorite things to do, dressing up in his dinosaur costumes. Whoa! <laughs> Meta loves learning about these amazing creatures that were alive on Earth around 66 million years ago. There were so many different kinds of dinosaurs. Oh, I have an idea. Meta, you have five different dinosaur costumes, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you should try on all five costumes, and as you try on each costume, we will learn some really fun and interesting facts about each dinosaur. Would you like to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you like to learn about dinosaurs? Yes! Okay, let's get started with this first dinosaur costume that Meta has on right now. Mm. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Hmm. I see three bones on top of your head, Meta. <gasps> Meta is dressed up as a Triceratops! Triceratops was about 30 feet long and up to 10 feet high. The dinosaur weighed roughly the same weight as one to two delivery trucks. Triceratops was an herbivore. They liked to eat plants. The dinosaur had three large horns on its head and a bird-like beak on its mouth. Triceratops lived about 65 million years ago. Whoa, Meta! You changed your costume! <gasps> this dinosaur costume looks really neat! I see some teeth up here. Ooh. Do you know what dinosaur this is? <gasps> Meta is dressed up as a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex for short. Tyrannosaurus Rex was about 40 feet long and up to 20 feet high. The dinosaur weighed roughly the same weight as one to two ambulances. Tyrannosaurus rex was a carnivore. They liked to eat meat. The dinosaur had very small arms with two-fingered hands and had 50 to 60 very large teeth. Tyrannosaurus rex lived about 65 million years ago. Another dinosaur costume! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh, I see some very spiny protective plates on your back that run all the way down your tail. <gasps> hmm. Do you know what dinosaur this is? A stegosaurus! Meta is dressed up as a stegosaurus! Stegosaurus was about 30 feet long and up to 15 feet high. The dinosaur weighed roughly the same weight as one to two pickup trucks. Stegosaurus was an herbivore. They liked to eat plants. The dinosaur had between 17 and 22 protective plates on its back and spikes on their tails that were up to three feet in length. Stegosaurus lived about 150 million years ago. Wow! I see that you have changed into another dinosaur costume. <laughs> and I see you have two wings! Whoa! 
you know what dinosaur this is? <gasps> Pteranodon. Meta is dressed up as a Pteranodon. Did you know that the Pteranodon is actually not called a dinosaur? It's called a pterosaur, meaning a flying reptile. Pteranodon's wingspan was about 18 to 33 feet wide and stood six feet high. Pteranodon weighed roughly the same weight as one deer. Pteranodon was a carnivore. They liked to eat meat, but they had no teeth. They had a very long beak and they flew in the air. Pteranodon lived about 90 million years ago. Wow, this costume is amazing, Meta. Wow, <laughs> this is a very interesting looking dinosaur. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Meta is dressed up as a Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was about 23 feet long and up to six feet high. The dinosaur weighed roughly the same weight as one horse. Dilophosaurus was a carnivore. They liked to eat meat. Dilophosaurus had hollow bones, long teeth, and a pair of crests on top of its head. Most people think the Dilophosaurus had a frill around their neck, but they actually did not. Dilophosaurus lived about 190 million years ago. Meta, thank you for taking the time to dress up in all of your dinosaur costumes. Let's recap. Triceratops. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Stegosaurus. Pteranodon. Dilophosaurus. Wow, that was a lot of fun learning about all those dinosaurs. Mm, mm, What's that? Mm. Oh, Meta just asked a very good question. Why do we know dinosaurs lived on Earth? Oh, that's Miss Y calling. Miss Y is our friend who is a scientist. She works at the Curiosity Lab in the city. Hi, Miss Y. Hi, B. Do you and Meta have a question for me? Well, yes, we do. Why do we know dinosaurs lived on Earth? Oh, that is a great question. Hmm. I have an interesting experiment with fossils to show Meta when he visits the Curiosity Lab today. Bye for now. Bye, Miss Y. Meta, Miss Y is going to set up a fossil experiment to help answer your question. Are you ready to go visit Miss Y at the Curiosity Lab? <laughs> yes. All right, Meta, have a wonderful time. Hi, Meta. It is so great to see you. Mm. And I have to say, I love your dinosaur costume. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Y, and I work here at the Curiosity Lab. Over here is my assistant, Bolty the Robot. Okay, so the question Meta asked is, why do we know dinosaurs lived on Earth? Mm -hmm. Well, we know dinosaurs lived on Earth because dinosaur scientists called paleontologists find and study fossils. Do you know what a fossil is? Mm. Fossils are the preserved remains or traces of animals and plants that once lived a very, 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 very long time ago. Mm. By studying fossils, paleontologists can find out where the dinosaurs lived, what they looked like, and even what they ate. There are several different types of fossils. Bolty, could you show us images of three different types of fossils? The first image shows examples of stone fossils. When the bones of an animal are buried in the ground, they can turn into stone by a process called petrification, which allows them to stay in the ground for millions and millions of years. Ooh. The second image shows an example of a preserved fossil. 
For example, when remains of a living thing become trapped inside amber, which is really old tree sap, and harden, they can stay preserved for millions and millions of years. And this third image shows an example of a trace fossil. A trace fossil is an outline of a living thing. Sometimes traces left behind by an animal or plant can be fossilized. For example, in this picture, a dinosaur stepped in mud and then walked away. The footprint hardened and eventually fossilized, allowing it to stay around for millions and millions of years, which leads me to my fossil experiment. Thank you, Bolty. We are going to make our very own trace fossil. I have a hard plastic Tyrannosaurus Rex toy right over here. And rawr, I also have some salt dough over here. Excuse me, Meta, while I reach for that dough. I made this salt dough by mixing two cups of flour, half a cup of salt, and about a cup of water. Now, if you don't have a pretend dinosaur toy, that's okay. You can use whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Any small toy, your handprint, or even a rock or leaf from outside will work. Meta, we are going to shape our dough into an oval big enough so that we can press our Tyrannosaurus Rex's feet into the dough to make a trace or an outline of the dinosaur's feet. So let's get started making our mold. All right, I'm gonna get big enough so I can like have him walk across it. Okay. So now, let's imagine a dinosaur steps into some mud. What could have happened if the dinosaur walked away? What would the dinosaur leave behind? Mm. Well, let's see. An outline of the dinosaur's feet. These are footprints. Let's do it again. One more time, walking. Ooh, look at that, Meta. The Tyrannosaurus Rex left footprints that are now outlined in our mold. We'll do one more. Look at that, Meta. The Tyrannosaurus Rex left footprints that are now outlined in our mold. Wow. Now, let your mold sit for a few days. It will eventually become hard and your dinosaur outline will be preserved. This trace fossil experiment is one example of how fossils are formed and is only one example of why we know dinosaurs lived on our Earth millions of years ago. <laughs> I hope you had fun learning about fossils. Meta, thank you for visiting me at the Curiosity Lab today. And remember, Miss Y is here, so ask away. Did you have a good time with Miss Y learning why we know dinosaurs lived on Earth? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know what time it is? It's time to dance. This is where we stop what we are doing, stand up, and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. <gasps> do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's the idea train. <laughs> And look, it's Pinky the Boom Box. Hi, Pinky the Boom Box. All right. Thank you, Idea Train. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will put Pinky right here. Pinky the Boom Box plays our music. I will take this gold cassette tape and put it in here. And I'll close it up. And then I will push the button with the triangle on it the play button. Are you ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, wait, we are missing one thing. Oh, that's mm. better. Now I am dressed up as a dancing triceratops. Okay, are you ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes? All right, I'm going to push the play button now.
that was a lot of fun. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Guess what? It's time to share some mate art. Are you ready for our first piece of art? Mm -hmm. This piece of art was sent to us by a family who lives in Florida. <gasps> a really awesome kid named Taylor sent us this mate art. Mate, to look, it's all of us in one picture. Mm -hmm. There you are, Meta, and there is me, B. Over here is Pinky the Boombox, the Idea Train, <gasps> Mr. Butterfly, and look, Meta, your favorite stuffy, Mimi the Orange Fox. Mm -hmm. wow. Thank you, Taylor, for sending us this fantastic Meta. Our second piece of art was sent to us by a family who lives in Canada. Mm. A really awesome kid named Shamir made this Meta art. Look, Meta, there you are right here. Mm -hmm. And next to Meta is me, B. <gasps> and look, Meta, down here, Shamir wrote, I love Meta. Wow. Thank you, Shamir, for sending us this fantastic Meta art. Mm. This last piece of art was sent to us by a family who lives in Korea. A really cool kid named Dane mm. sent us this Meta art. Hey, Meta, look! It's a picture of our paper roll craft video. Mm. You can see B and Meta starting to make their paper roll craft. Wow. And over here is Pinky the Boombox, Mr. Butterfly. Dane, I love how you drew all of these trees in the background. Dane, thank you so much for sending us this fantastic artwork. Before we go, let's say five good things about ourselves. Do you want to do that? Yes. Okay, I'll go first and then you repeat what I say after me. Number one, I am strong. Number two, I am helpful. Number three, I am smart. Number four, I am brave. Number five, I am kind. That was great, <laughs> Meta. Nicely done. Thank you for spending your time with us. And until next time, bye! Yay!